Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you all from the US. I got back last week and I thought I would do a haul showing you a bit of a collective haul of things that I got. I bought quite a lot of beauty stuff and then I've also got a few bits and bobs of clothing and jewellery. Before I start I've got two apologies to make as well. The first one is I'm sorry that this video is late. I normally upload Fridays but as you may be able to tell, which is going to be my second apology, is I'm sorry if my voice is a bit croaky. I've been ill, hence this video is late, hence I sound a bit funny and yeah I feel fine I'm just a little bit congested still so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit croaky in this video but without further ado I'm going to show you what I got because I got some really good stuff. So first up for Target which was the first place I went to, the first place I bought things from. The first thing that caught my eye were these brushes. This is a brush set from Sonia Kashuk which you can I think you can only get at Target. You can't get them in the UK anyway um, and they are kind of like quite a fun print, they have the pink bristles and they also have the kind of painted like artworky style handles. I really like these actually, um, I think they're just really fun and a bit of colour. Some of them aren't as good as others, this foundation brush for example I don't really like. I do like the powder brushes and I do like the eyeshadow brushes, I particularly like this little one which you can tell I've used quite a bit. Then two other things I picked up from Target were also from Sonia Kashuk and these are from her kind of bath and body range. I was totally drawn in by the packaging of these because I think they look really nice and expensive. They weren't very expensive. I got the shower gel and an eau de toilette. They smell so yummy. They're in the purple seduction, um, pomegranate rose and patchouli scent. I actually can't smell much at the moment because I've got a cold but I didn't have a cold when I got these and they smell really good. The only thing with the perfume is it is very very strong almost to the point of like you need one spray on your clothes rather than your skin just so that it's a bit lighter. Um, it's a very very strong scent. I was just totally drawn in by the packaging. I think it's gorgeous especially for essentially like a high street brand. I think it looks really high end and nice. The last thing that I picked up from Target is a nail polish from Essie and this is in the colour Garden Variety. It's a beautiful turquoise. Something about it is slightly different to normal turquoises. I don't know what it is. It's not as light because it's a little bit of a deeper colour. Really like it a lot. Beautiful colour. I think I'll wear it a lot in the summer. I really like Essie polishes as well. Next up for stuff from Ulta, I picked up two hair products from the Alterna range, which I've tried quite a lot of Alterna products before because I got gifted a load when I did Project Runway, um, gosh that's like 18 months ago now, and I really liked them but they're quite expensive so I haven't really bought any since then. But my hair has been quite dry and not in great condition recently so I decided to buy two treatments and they're both from the Caviar Anti-Aging line. The first one is the 3 Minute Shine Boost Recharge Shine and Colour and this is um, a 3 minute treatment that you use in place of conditioner like in the shower and then the other one that I got is the Retexturizing Protein Cream. This is one that you put in as a post um, shampoo product so you put it in um, and leave it in. So you can use these simultaneously I believe. I'm excited to try them. I love the packaging of this one, I think it's so gorgeous. They're also free of paraben sulfate, platethates, synthetic colour, etc. Like I said, quite expensive, I think they're around the $30 mark, $25 mark each. But, um, yeah, hoping these are going to be really good because I have tried some of their stuff before and it has been really good. I also picked up two minis from Ulta. The first one is a perfume and it's from Philosophy, it's their Love Swept perfume, which I smelt and I really loved it. And at the time I was like, oh it reminds me of something, I don't know what it reminds me of, I don't know, but I really like it. I think it's like a, an old perfume I used to have, and I got this tiny little one, which I think was $15, so it's a really good kind of handbag size, I think it's 15 mil. And then when I got back from shopping, I realised it smells really, really similar to Taylor by Taylor Swift, which I actually have, but um, this is a really cute kind of travel size anyway, so I'm definitely going to use this, and it smells really good, but it is quite similar to the Taylor Swift perfume, if you guys are wondering, it's a good dupe. Um, and then the last thing I got from Ulta is another mini, it's the Japanese Makeup Brush Cleanser. I only got a mini in this because I haven't tried it before, so I wanted to see if it was good before um, investing in a bigger size. I've just run out of my Cinema Secrets um, brush cleanser which I'm gutted about, so I'm going to try this one and see if it's good. That is everything I got from Ulta. Moving on to Sephora, I actually got a couple more things in Sephora but I didn't go too crazy because I'd been to Dallas like maybe three weeks before I went to LA. so. I actually had kind of cleaned out Sephora last time I went, so but I did pick up a few things. The first one is the Ola Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I picked up a sample of this when I was in Dallas and I'm just finishing it off now. 
I really like it. It's a very unique texture. It's kind of like marmalade, weirdly. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been one of my favourite products that I've been using recently, so I picked up a full size. It's just really, really nice. It smells lovely. It's a little bit cheaper than a lot of the other cleans cleansing balms on the market. The packaging as well is plastic, so it's a bit more travel friendly even though it's a giant pot. And then I also got two things on recommendation from my friend Tati, which if you guys didn't see our monthly favourites video on her channel, which was part one, then make sure you go and check that out, because she actually had both of these in her favourites, and it made me want to buy them. So the first one is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is kind of a cult product now, but I had never actually used it properly. This is in the colour Moonstone. It comes in quite a lot of colours. I've been using this for the last week or so, and I really, really like it. It's kind of similar to the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer, but it's a lot more intense. I use it more on the high points of my face, but you can use it all over your face as well, or you can mix it with your foundation if you want a really kind of dewy look. But I really like this, so that was a good recommendation from Tati. And then I also picked up the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I think these are actually new, but they're basically um, a foundation, but they are really high coverage and you only need a few drops and you can mix it with uh, either a primer or a moisturiser or you can mix it with a light coverage foundation to give it more coverage. They basically allow you to customise the coverage of your base which is a really cool idea, I really liked it. The texture of them I really like as well, it's that kind of very light but um, watery but still has a ridiculous level of coverage. The only problem with this is that I got a shade too light. I got N25. I actually asked the sales assistant to help me in Sephora and I was going to get N30 which I think would have been perfect and she convinced me to get N25 saying that it didn't match my neck but actually I got home and applied this all over my face and it is a little bit too light. I can still get away with it and I think because of the type of product that it is I can mix it with say a slightly darker foundation and lighten up um, some of my dark foundations to fit me now but um, I do wish I'd got N30 and I know you can actually exchange things in the States but I feel like by the time I go back it's probably not worth um, keeping hold of my receipt and lugging it back with me to change it so um, yeah a little bit light but I also think I'm slightly more tan than normal at the moment because I had been in the sun when I bought it so I'm hoping that this might be a slightly better colour um, come kind of October time this year but I do actually really really like the texture. I also got another brush from Sephora this is the 42, I think it is, number 42. It's the small stippling brush from the Sephora Pro line. I bought one of these, I can't even remember when I bought it, about a year ago, I think, and I've used it pretty much every day since, and I'm constantly washing it. So I bought another one, and I love it. As you can tell, I've used it already. These are such good foundation brushes. I much prefer these to the um, big stippling brushes, and I just think that they're just great. I really, really love this brush, and now I have two of them. Hooray! Really good. I actually really rate the Sephora brushes. I think they're really good quality for the price. And then the last thing I picked up from Sephora, I got distracted at the till. Again, surprise, surprise. And I picked up another one of the Little Bite Duo lipsticks, and I love both of the colours. It has this kind of pinky nude colour on one end, which is called Fig, and then it has this gorgeous gorgeous your lips but better color on the other end called date they're both lovely these are just so great for your handbag they're 12 dollars, so they're really affordable the texture of bite lipsticks is amazing i love bite products so much i also bought a couple of pieces of jewelry uh, both of which are from madewell and i love these i've actually worn them a lot since i bought them the first one is this chain here which has lots of different kind of square and circle attachments to it I just think this is really simple, but really beautiful and effective. I've honestly worn this almost every day since I bought it. And then I also got from Madewell as well, this long gold kind of double dog tag necklace. I've been wearing them together a lot as well. I think they look really nice together. Lastly, for clothing items, there are a few kind of simple, slightly boring ones. So I'll go through them quickly. The first one I got is a Wild Fox baggy beach jumper in plain black. I know this sounds so boring, but honestly, these jumpers are the softest, nicest, 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 cuddliest, um, most useful jumpers ever. I've worn the other ones that I own so much, but they all have kind of like funny slogans on them and stuff, and I wanted one that I could just throw on with whatever and, you know, not be worried about where I was going in it kind of thing. Just a practical plain jumper anyway. Um, and this was actually on sale in Bloomingdale's, there was like an extra 25% off sale. So I got it for a really good price and I love it. Then I also picked up a similar kind of thing 
from a really cool shop called William B, which is in the Century City Mall, um, in the Westfield Mall there. And I've been in there a few times with my friends Tati and Becky, and we've kind of looked at things, and I think Becky bought a few things last time we were in there, but I'd never bought anything from there. And we spotted these, which are a similar kind of material, but more lightweight. Just super, super soft, like seriously, ridiculously soft, um, kind of jersey cotton material. And yeah, it's just a really lightweight hoodie. It does have a hood. Again, they only had medium in this, but I got it anyway because it's just slouchy and comfortable. And I feel like it's a great kind of spring layering item as well if you're just at home and you want to be casual. So they're the two kind of boring things. And then I got a dress, which I am utterly, utterly obsessed with. It's from a brand called Amanda Up Richard, and it is just a really, really bright, almost neon pink. Absolutely beautiful. It's a really plain dress. It is silk, so it was quite expensive, but the cut is just beautiful on the front. It's hard to see, really, but um, the front is just cut really nicely. It's really flattering, and it even has like a little popper there so that it doesn't come down too low. The back, the cut of the back is really beautiful as well. It kind of cuts in, and then it has a kind of loose skirt, if I can pick it up like this. It's a little bit creased actually from um, the plane ride back. It got quite squashed in my suitcase and I haven't had time to steam it yet. But it's really beautiful. I have three weddings this summer um, and quite a few events and things to go to. So I think I'll get quite a lot of use out of this in the summer. It's such a beautiful colour. That particular shade of like really bright pink always um, flatters my skin tone as well. It's like, one of my favourite colours to wear. So I'm super happy with that. That's it for this haul video. Again, I'm sorry if I've kind of like um, croaks my way through it. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you again on Tuesday with a brand new video, not on Monday. All of my videos are like a day late this week because I'm actually going to be doing a collaboration with my friend Nikki Philippi. If you guys want to see that then make sure you are subscribed and keep an eye out on Tuesday for that and I will see you then. See you soon guys, bye! Hey guys and welcome back to another monthly favourites. Today is a very special one because I am joined by my friend Tati. You guys probably all know her already because we've done a lot of videos together <laughs> and you're in my vlogs a lot and just generally she's one of my really good friends but she lives in LA. So